Hi, I'm Mackenzie from Chris's Coffee Service, and today I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to make a cappuccino using the Quick Mill Alexia Evo machine. This is a single boiler espresso machine, so it does not have steam on demand like some of the other Quick Mills, like the Andrea Premium, the Anita, the Vetrano 2B. This machine requires some prepping, so let me show you how to do that. When you first unbox your Alexia machine, you want to turn the three-way switch to the one position. You can see right now it's on the two, which indicates that it is on. By switching it to the one position, you are filling up the boiler without turning on the heating element, which of course protects the machine and doesn't allow you to burn out that element. When you first get your machine, you want to wash out the water tank and fill it with clean, soft water. If you do not have soft water or an in-house softening system, give me a call so we can discuss your options. First, turn the three-way switch to the one position and activate the pump by flicking the second switch from the top all the way to the right. You will hear the boiler start to fill. Secondly, you have to open up the steam valve. Once you notice water coming out, you can turn the pump off and turn your machine to the two position. From here on out, you no longer need to switch it to the one position. This is simply a safety feature so that the machine can fill up before it starts to heat. Now, we always recommend steaming your milk first and brewing your espresso second. So, in order to steam, you turn the steam lever on and wait for the boiler to heat up to 250 degrees. You open up the steam valve and release some of the water inside the boiler, allowing room for the steam. On this machine, you'll know that it's ready when the PID reads the appropriate temperature. On a single boiler machine like the Sylvia, it is indicated by the orange light turning off. To brew your espresso, you turn off the steam switch, turn on the pump to refill the boiler, and wait for the machine to cool back down to 200 degrees for your espresso. You have to open up the valve once again to release any steam built up inside of the boiler, and once you see water coming through, you're ready to brew. Thank you to all of those who have reached out and requested some videos for us to do. Uh, if anybody else has any other suggestions or recommendations or has any questions, give me a call anytime at 518-452-5995 or send me an email at mckenzie at chriscoffee.com. Thank you.